so even the eye can lie. Probably one of the most exciting and unusual exhibitions has opened at London's Royal Academy. The treasures of a Roman city that was suddenly and violently engulfed by molten volcanic ash 2,000 years ago. The exhibition was opened by Princess Anne. In 1710, an Italian peasant digging a well through the solidified volcanic ash hit upon the ancient theatre of Herculaneum. He uncovered one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of all time. Pompeii and its treasures were revealed to the world. Unguentoria, perfume flasks. A tintinabulum, bells to ward off evil spirits. Goddess of love, Aphrodite. The true value of Pompeii is not only its perfectly preserved art treasures, but whole houses, theatres, public buildings, even streets, and the insight into the way of life of the time, an intimacy and completeness that no other archaeological find has ever equaled. The gladiator's armour is a reminder that life in those days was bloody and cruel. The gladiator's helmet is bronze. The exhibits are on loan from the Archaeological Museum of Naples. The model of a Pompeian house is built to scale. The Roman designers had ideas still used by the architects of today. Pompeii itself was an attractive city, superbly functional and modern. When Vesuvius erupted on the 24th of August, AD 79, the effect was sudden and shattering. Throughout 2,000 years, the volcano has periodically erupted. Then in 1944, war-torn Europe watched as Vesuvius dramatically exploded. Movie tone cameras recorded the scene. The march of the molten lava was irresistible, primeval. Nothing in its path escaped. A slow river of boiling death that destroyed everything. These pictures give some idea of the catastrophe that overtook Pompeii 20 centuries before. Unlike the modern Neapolitans, the Pompeians had little time to escape. The town, its treasures, 2,000 of its citizens were engulfed. The excavation of Pompeii was a model rescue operation. The task of preserving its artistic and historical riches was accomplished with skill and care. But the searching and sifting produced some harrowing surprises. The lava that killed them formed a mould around each panic-stricken body, preserving through all those centuries the agony of death. A young woman who tried to protect her nose and mouth from the suffocating ash, only to die of asphyxiation. And a dog, chained to death for 2,000 years. The mosaic was prophetic. The painted frieze from Pompeii's Hall of Mysteries, full of religious and symbolic imagery. The vivid colours are beautifully preserved and show the opulence with which the wealthier citizens surrounded themselves. Like the exhibition itself, a triumph of spectacle. Pompeii and the great Roman Empire that produced it have long since passed away. But Vesuvius is still there, unconquered, brooding and enigmatic. <laughs>